Hey everybody, so I just wanted to say, um, this video that I'm uploading is from November 29th, 2017, so it's, uh, pretty old, and it just never made it to YouTube, but I'm gonna be uploading it, um, one, because it's 5am and I can't sleep, and two, because one day if I ever lose these memories, they'll be on YouTube at least, and I can see them, so there's that, but I hope you enjoy the video. Hey everyone, so really, really quick, <coughs> I wanted to make a video. I'm going to try and make two videos tonight, too. Um, the first one, which is this one, that it's quickly about, like, how I'm going to start editing my videos. Because um, for the longest time, I mean, this does work, but um, I found a new way. Because usually I have like a stop button on my phone where you could stop the video. The only problem with stopping the video and using it that way is that you can't flip the camera. Like once you go into this mode, you're stuck at this mode. But if, with this new video app called... Hmm. I'll be right back. I gotta go find out what it's called. It is called Android Vid. And it's spelled... A-N-D-R-O-V-I-D. -D. And it's all one word, and it's called Android Vid. <coughs> Excuse me. You can edit pictures, too. Like, you can... It's just not for videos. You can edit pictures. You can edit your videos. You can do anything with it. What I do is that I... And I just started doing this last night because I got the idea last night in the middle of... Like, that's when I made my squishy video. And that's how I was able to make the squishy video and turn the camera and have the flash and do all that. Because what I do is I just stop the video when I need to, like, s like switch the camera or something. Or, like, I just did. I stopped one video and then I just, you know, looked at the app and found out the name. And then I just started a video back up. And instead of, like, you know, saying, hey, guys, again, I just pretended like I didn't do it. But now you guys know I did it. Um, which doesn't really matter to me if you guys know or not. I don't really care. My point was in that, my point was is that, um, there's like, if you do videos, you press the video and then if you press merge, there's going to be a button called merge. If you press that button, you can merge multiple videos together. So that's what I do is I just merge them. And then it doesn't even look like you stop the video. It just continues as one long video. So like you can take... Say you took like 20 second videos, you took five of them, you can just keep putting those 20 second videos together and it will just be like one big video and won't even show that you like stopped the camera and did all that stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much all I really wanted to say about that app. And um, yeah, also the second video I was going to make was um, how to make a Musical.ly and I know like a lot of people probably know how to make one, but I really just wanted to make that video because since I found out how to do this, I don't know if you guys know or not, I showed it in other videos that I have another phone. It's not a working phone, it's just a phone that if you connect the internet, I mean to the Wi-Fi, you can have it working, and that's because it's my old phone, so it's like not connected to any services. So yeah, I just use it because it's still got the Musical.ly app on it. And just because I have two Musical.ly accounts, I just switch off with Musical.ly accounts. So, yeah. I'm going to make that video probably later, I hope. So, yeah. Bye, everyone.